to the wall. The sweat drips down my face. Welcome to the Buckhorn Podcast. All the females crow. Yeah, 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 I am Martel, mother- and with me always is Randy. What up, Randy? Oh, we're starting right away. <laughs> Usually I get to uh, bull crap on the mic and uh, get my bearings before you hit record. I know. We did all that already. All right. Here yeah. we are. Hey. Hey, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hose, hose, hose. Ooh. In different area codes. Hose. Area codes. I've got something in my glass. You do. Eggnog. Don't. It is eggnog. Is it just eggnog? No. Oi. It's eggnog and some liquor. I can't even see what's on your desk from here. My entire bar. Because you... <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a very jolly Merry Christmas, folks. I got... Five bottles sitting over here in, what, what, how big is this thing? 32 ounces of eggnog, which is about a little over a third of the way gone. Not All quite right. half. Uh, I'm here for it. It's yeah. a great day. It is. I am ready. You're taking a mm. sip. We're diving right into this. I'm getting right into it. I, I told you, I came in in a great mood today. Yeah. I feel, I, I'm on cloud nine. These last three or four days have been awesome. Good. So I, I told you I had a TikTok, right? Yes, I fucking hate TikTok. I know you do. But well, so like I'm in a group chat with like my neighbors and and some some friends and it is constant like fucking TikTok share video shit. Oh, well, okay, that like it's constant. Like I didn't even watch so I refuse to watch TikTok videos at this point. So you post them on the group chat that we're in. Okay, if and I, I don't send, watch that shit. If I send one to our group chat, hold on. I know. I knowing you, I purposely don't share the ones that are just kind of funny. If I send it to our group chat, it's worth a watch. I don't know. Trust it's me. Just, t- just I, trust it, me on that. I, I I hear you. I just don't like it. As somebody that blasts Facebook, if I send it to our group chat that you're talking about, <laughs> I'm specifically going, this is funny enough that even Martel needs to see it. You know, we're so... Fire, fire Sir Burke. <laughs> yeah. So we're... You type I, like you read. I, I think we're going to start a new segment on our show. I, I'm because here for it, dude. I'm in a great mood right now. I was going to think about my TikTok, but I'll do that later. Go well, ahead. No, no. Finish your TikTok. So I told you how I made this Dollar General video, I think. Did I share mm-hmm. that on mm-hmm. there? Do our listeners know? Yeah. And it got me to like 1,200 followers. Well, Monday, last Monday, I was working down around the Cincinnati area. Okay. And I'm driving, and I pull over to get gas. And as I pull in the gas station, I hit like a bump, and a $20 bill falls on my lap. Usually, I'm like, hey, this usually, it, it typically only happens when I'm stripping, and that's Thursday nights. Which is weird. Right. So, I forgot it stashed as 20, because I never carry cash. And so, I forget why I got it. It's like, something happened, I got a 20, I put it in the visor of my work van. I have one of those little holders that holds, like, cards yeah. and letters. And, and I forgot about it. It was one of those, like, emergency fund things. Okay. So, it fell out and hit my lap. And I went, huh, what should I do with this? I could buy some really cheap whiskey, or I could put it in the bank account, or, and I got this idea as I'm pumping gas, why not do a TikTok treasure hunt? Oh, Lord. So I get in the back of my van, I have no, like, I'm, I'm like, what, I can't just put a $20 bill somewhere, it'll get wet, fall apart, and I had a, a I ordered some belts for some uh, rooftop exhaust fans, so okay. the plastic they came in, I tore some off, and had electrical tape, <laughs> I was out of duct tape. So I made this TikTok video. It was like, hey, Ohio TikTokers, I'm going to do a treasure, you know, like treasure hunt. Yeah. I'm going to wrap this 20 in this plastic and hide it somewhere in Ohio. I'll send you all a video with, you know, clues in them, you know, later today or whatever. No clue what I was doing. So I go about my business and then I'm driving home and I see the thing, the sign that says, you know, turn left. Fort Ancient is five miles this way. What's Fort Ancient? I don't know. So I hit record on my phone, and I'm just driving. So I see this. You know, I come up on this place. got Indian Mounds and all this. The park is closed, probably because of COVID. Okay. But it's got one of those, like, informational stands out in front of it. Right. So I took the 20, hit it. Like, I put it up on this, like, top of the display, but under a roof. Taped it there with electrical tape. And then I go to check TikTok and finish my video to upload it. The video I'd posted saying I was going to do that. Started taking off. Okay. And well, yeah, because, you know, greedy motherfuckers and money. Well, I, I think it was more the hunt. It was 20 bucks, which there's a lot of greedy people. But it's, $20 is a lot of meth. Well, it is. And we're, we are in Ohio. And that was southern Ohio. But 
a lot of people were not even from around the area and said, hey, because like in the video, I was like, it's close to Christmas. I don't need this $20. Yeah. Like, it'd be nice to have a million dollars. (laughs) But maybe somebody else needs it. Let's have fun, TikTok. Go find this $20. It blows up. I post the video, start driving home. I hit Washington Courthouse, pull over to get gas, and I look down, and the video's exploded. And all these people were talking about, oh, it's so nice of you to do this time of year. 2020 sucks, and we're looking forward to it. So I did that Monday. Well, then I thought, okay, I'll follow up and do it Tuesday. You should have put 20 cents with that, too. So <laughs> 2020, that's funny. Yeah. I should get some dimes. That's not a bad <laughs> idea. So I did one Tuesday. Uh, well, the one Monday went viral. Or the video went viral, and then I did the, the video of the hunt. A guy did the, a duet, which you don't know what that is, said, hey, I found it. But other TikTokers started showing up, and he gave it to the second person that came. So he paid it forward. Okay. And then all these other people were like, yeah, we all, we, you know, we got there, and there was like five or six people there, but it was cool to meet people. And then Tuesday, I hit one every day. Last now week, they all have COVID, and they're on ventilators. I told them to go at their own risk. <laughs> <laughs> Long story short, I went from 1,200 followers Monday to now I'm at, let me check. Oh, Lord. We're going we're gonna to get a live update and see. I'm opening TikTok. Oh, look, I gained three followers. I am at 8,503 followers. It's a pity that you don't have that many followers on Facebook and can I, monetize off <laughs> well, of it. The thing at, well, or Instagram. The thing. At 10,000 followers, you can monetize this. Oh, Lord. So I'm only 1,500 away, less than. I won't be following you. I don't <laughs> follow me. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't expect it to blow up. So I did one every day this week. I hid one since the um, High Banks Park I'd never been to. North Columbus. Really? Never been there. A, a high VW get-togethers there. Ne- All the time. The high VW get-togethers I went to were behind a car dealership. Wow. <laughs> George's Phil. Wow. That's um, after that. That's way past the, the yeah. high bank days then. Maybe I did, but I didn't. I don't remember or it wasn't. But I, I hid all five days. I hid something. And some of it was like Beth and I started going through like little. God, it'd be great if you hid like a shaved pencil. <laughs> pencil shavings. <laughs> that would be awesome. But I started hiding, like, I got some forged dice from my buddy Adlai Stein at the Central Ohio School of Metal, work, metal Works. Metal Works. Metal Works. Metal Works. And, but, but like, I'm, I've been reaching out to local artists I know, photographers, painters, uh, blacksmiths. Mm-hmm. Hey, I will hide something that you make and pump you up. Because why not? If I can get yeah. other people to know you, it just helps people. How about I give you a bag of my attitude and you go hide that somewhere? <laughs> Nobody wants a <laughs> Ziploc baggie full of your attitude. <laughs> but I have seriously been pumping this up and road it, and I'm getting all these messages like, I, like I, I didn't know what to expect, right? I thought 20 bucks, nobody's going to want to do this. That video, the first intro video, has over 106,000 views now. Good. Well, it's because I... TikTok's a scam. <laughs> Hold on. Why is TikTok a scam? I just I, I I think some of the shit that they do, I think it's inflated. Um, I think like the views and everything. Why are you videoing me? Because he may end up on TikTok. Oh, I don't know. Fuck me. <laughs> um, I, I promote our podcast. Jesus. I just think that I think it's I, it's a it's a sham by the Chinese government to sit and be able to track. I mean, not that the U.S. government isn't tracking us, but it's just a way for the Chinese government to track. Americans and try to figure out. And you piece think they're doing bullshit. that with your freaking iPhone? And I just your said I, that. I just I said laptop that. And I, all just, that. I just said that the U.S. government's doing it. Everybody is. I know. Although I will say, Apple was a little bit more lenient when it comes to security. Ah, no, as far as you know. Well, even the, even when you start reading like some of their terms and conditions policy stuff. Yeah, kind of like, sketchy. No, it's <laughs> Android sketchy. Android. You said lenient. They're more lenient with well, their security. You mean they're more like more locked down? Locked down. Kinda. Like they're not, I should have said, not as lenient with their security. Like they're, so the Apple Maps program, just, we'll use that for instance. Which sucks. is what I. It fucking sucks. <laughs> but it's That's because. That's what I use for work 99% of the time. It's because they're not using, they're not using any of the information they gather from the maps to make changes and updates to the maps it's all based on you know old yeah like they're they're 
the way that they do it is, oh. is the way like TomTom used to do it or Garmin used to do their mapping system where Google uses active tracking. I was about to say, I need to take it back. I don't use Apple Maps. I do use Google Maps on my Apple phone. Oh, see, I use Waze. And Waze is owned by Google, and they're tracking everything. You know, Everywhere you go, they track. Waze but is good. Waze is the best GPS yeah, because they, map system out there. It's interactive. Yeah. That's why. Right. Well, and that's what I'm saying. Like, like, hey, Apple, there's a cop here, and if you get there... And you pass that spot, you can say thumbs it was like, up. Was there a cop there? Or no. Yeah. So it's kind of it's pretty real timing. Mean, not exactly, but it's pretty. It, it's pretty good. So Dad loves it. I and use Dad it. is not a tech guy. I use it so because I speed. I'm on. I mean, fuck. Yeah. Speed limit's just a suggestion. I set my cruise at the highest my my pedo van will allow, which is eighty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've gone faster than that in it, but when I hit like set at ninety, it'll just drop down it to eighty. Drops and hold down there. to eighty. Yeah, I, I mean, I everywhere I go, thirty three, sixty miles an hour. I'm seventy. I passed a cop at ninety on thirty three one day, and he just looked at me. <laughs> if you want to not ever get pulled over, buy a Ford Transit Connect because I swear they're invisible to cops. So are yellow cars. I have blown. I, I've never owned a yellow car because they're ugly. I had two of them. I know. They're ugly. And that's what I passed the cop in. <laughs> but I've blown past, like, I'm on the freeway blowing past people 80 mile an hour in a 65 zone, which that's not quote unquote blowing past depending on who you are. Right. But that they don't even, like, I don't even stop anymore. I don't even, like, usually I turn off the cruise when I saw a cop just let it kind of coast down so it's not a sudden jerk. Yeah. Now I don't even do that. They totally ignore me. It's like, oh, He's an essential employee. He's trying to get was, somewhere. <laughs> like, they totally ignore me. So I just, cool. I'm going up 75 all the way up to, you know, towards Cleveland or something. I'm just cruising along and, or wait, 75 is over by. That's over by Dayton. Dayton. To the <laughs> but it goes north and south. But, um, no, whichever, I go 70, what's, I forget. But e- either way, I'm driving along on the freeway at 65. I'm going 80. Nothing. Um. But uh, Buckhorn Podcast does not condone breaking the law. Yeah, I do. Speed. We just both do it. I just just speed. I don't. I don't, I don't condone care. speed limits. I don't. I think if, if you're people, driving, if you're off your phone and driving responsibly and not hammered or high or I, cracked out, go whatever speed you want. Honest to God, I I the I think the Germans got it right with the autobahn. There's yes. no speed limit on the autobahn. Nope. There is a minimum speed limit, which you, which we technically have. We have those, but, but it's like 45. It is. If you're going 45 in the 65 or 70 zone, it's because your car is breaking down. Pull over. You're going. You're actually going to cause an accident. Exactly. Doing that. Um, I think – I don't know what the autobahns. Someone will tell me, and I, I can make some shit up and just say it's, you know, whatever, 70 miles an hour. Minimum. Minimum, which is – I don't know. That's it's like probably not, but still. 85 kilometers an hour or some shit like that. Maybe 90 <laughs> so kilometers some, an hour. Some Nazi German stuff. But they have a minimum speed limit on the autobahn, and their wrecks – like Rex versus fatality is a super low compared to compared to what we have. What we have. Um, Isn't it if, Montana that they have some of their highways? There's like no speed limit. Used to be. I think oh, they changed that, change? that. I think they changed it because they actually had people. Because we're not responsible drivers That's, as Americans. Well, <laughs> so we're not responsible people as Americans. Well, yeah. I accidentally ended up on a Facebook group that apparently is British uh, because they were talking about glizzies. You know what a glizzy is? No. It's a hot dog. Oh. Or a hot dog, as you say. Hot dog. Hot, hot dog. Hot dog. That's I what say hot, hot dog. dog. H-U-T-D-O-G. <laughs> hot dog. And, yeah, I was like, uh, what's a glizzy? And they were like yelling at me. They're one like, guy was like, um, fucking yank. One, one guy was like, uh, oh, I found another American, but I think this is a British thing. <laughs> They're like going off of me. <laughs> and one person was like, get out of here. And I was just like, okay, bye. <laughs> But I uh, I shared a video with them that I was like, yeah, that makes more sense now because it referred to a glizzy. It was a guy that said, oh, I found a wild glizzy. He had a cattail. And then he took a bite of it, and it all, like, ballooned, like, cotton in his mouth. Oh. <laughs> he was just like, oh! That's fucking gross. Um, I was like, well, now this is even funnier to me because I assumed he meant hot dog, but I'd never heard of glizzy before. Yeah. Uh, and I also don't know how we got on the topic of saying glizzy. Because you joined a face group, Facebook face, group, face group, group, Frank Burger there, a group on Facebook that was British ran. Um, so how was that? So before we get into this, some other stuff, how was that? Eggnog? That was really good. So that was the eggnog and screwball. Garrett should have been. That was screwball. That was screwball. that was really good. That's why it was good. Yeah. Garrett talked about. He made a post about uh, if you don't like eggnog, I'm like I'm trying to thin out my list. So I'm going to delete anybody who says they don't like eggnog. 
Garrett, you should have been here. Hey. Sucks to be you. He could have been on the show, but he decided. For two years, you should have been here. He, did, he decided to be a bitch. <laughs> and we don't like no Garrett's on our podcast. Yeah. So, so if your name's Garrett, you could stop listening right now. Or don't. I mean. Or keep listening. Or keep listening. Or email us at buckhornpodcast at gmail.com. Probably not. And tell us your name's Garrett. <laughs> Shit. Now we're just going to get people. <laughs> if you just get an email that says, hey, I'm Garrett. <laughs> Sign Jason. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> anyway, so there's been a lot of I see bitching. Uh, many tabs open. Yeah, there's been a lot of bitching and moaning. And it's all bourbon groups on, on Facebook. The bourbon groups on Facebook. It's, yes, there Boko has. seems to be the worst. It's dude, did you, have you seen my comments? Oh, you're just I started firing well, back. That's like, why you guys I, are freaking I'm taters. Fucking trolling the shit out of people. I am because the, the one guy complained, he's like, Oh, I waited in line for three hours and I didn't get my E.H. Taylor and I, I was sixteenth in line Ugh. and the asshole in front of me si- bought it. And he's whining so. about pe- he's yelling at people about people doing the very thing he's doing. Right. I was like, you are a tater. You are the problem. Yeah. I yeah. will link this episode to, to Boko and tell them if you stand in line for three hours for anything, you're an idiot. If you stand in line for any amount of time, if you show up at a store three hours prior to opening, fifteen minutes before that store opens, you're a fucking asshole. Here's one I want to ask them. How much do you make an hour? Not you, them. Right. I don't time care is, if it's, time I don't is care valuable. If it's 10, 15, 20 dollars an hour. You waited for 30 hours. Say you make 30 bucks an hour. Okay. That's pretty respectable wage. Yeah. Whatever you buy has cost you an extra $90. For me, my time, I've got two young boys at home. I've got a wife at home. I like forging. I love our podcast. I like not standing still in line six feet apart from other idiots. I'm not going to stand in line for three freaking hours. For I don't care if it was a chance to buy Pappy at MSRP. I'm not standing in line three hours for well, it. That's, so that's the thing. If it, well, Let's just use Pappy as the example. If, if you could stand in line to buy it and you knew when it was going to drop, you wouldn't be there three hours before it dropped. You'd be camping out literally the night before. They closed, you show up. I wouldn't. it. No, that's other what I'm saying. Would. Other people would. So there's no it's chance so that you're dumb. even going to get it. You're even going to fucking get it. And, here's and if they don't limit the bottle sales, one asshole may come in and buy four of them. Yeah. And there's only three bottles. The only reason I'd wait and line it for Pappy is so you and I could sample it, and then I could sell the rest for a huge profit. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Same thing I would do with the Double would, Eagle. Yeah, yeah. I would, I would sample it. We could review it on the show, and then I'd be like, all right, somebody paid me way too much for this. And I would have at it because I, I don't get the mentality of I have nothing better to do with my life and my time than to stand in line with a bunch of other jackrabbits waiting for any whiskey or bourbon. I don't I don't care what it is. But they're all that's it. See, that's it's a thing. flex. They're all the, the people are just posting bottles of what they got, like pictures of bottles. And I'm literally going, I don't give a crap what you bought. It means nothing to me. I'm not impressed. You, you could pull up in a Lamborghini with a bottle of Pappy and all these other rare crap, and I'm not going to think you're cool. I don't care who you are or what you have. I would rather sit here with you and drink some OWA or I, a, a Virgil yeah. Kane. I would sit and drink Virgil Kane with you all day before I would stand in line 10 minutes to try and get one of these bottles that are $1,200. I'm going to take pay. it a step further than that. I will sit and share... A bottle of Beam Eight Star or Kentucky Ooh. Tavern Ooh. with anybody before I go stand in line ever. I don't get it ever. Man. That people, shit is rank. These people need hobbies. They need to start a podcast. Well, so or the problem is this is something. they think this is their hobby. They uh, bottle like, bottle hunting, like the whining, hunting. the the fucking whining that is going. These are adults, fucking adults. They are whining like fucking <laughs> babies. I, and I know the post we're, t- we're talking about from Boko, which we have several here. It looks like you're going Ooh, to run through. Yeah, you that is, that was true. Well, you that's, saw my so, face. So I that's back. eggnog. So now we're on to we're, – we're past the eggnog and screwball. This is eggnog. You should have saved screwball for last. I know. Because <laughs> no. we know that's good. Uh, bourbon cream from Buffalo Trace. And about two ounces each of Buffalo Trace whiskey. Oh, you did the bourbon cream and the Buffalo Trace whiskey? Yeah, I did. Suck it, Boko. <laughs> We're mixing our Buffalo I'm, I'm, Trace with our Buffalo Trace. That's right. And, I'm and having, we did not wait in line for it. 
No. Although I am pissed. Uh, um, I went to Kroger and bought the buffalo cream this morning. Oh, did you? So last night it was $16 at Meyer. It was fucking eighteen dollars at Kroger. I thought Ohio controlled that. This is not considered. This is a liqueur. It's a liqueur. It's fifteen percent. It's not. It's not a bourbon or with. Okay. Yeah. It's and any store can sell. I it. had two bottles of that at home last night. You drank two bottles of it last no, night. No, I had two bottles at home. You said had. Where they go? Well, I still have one. No, oh, you said had. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I started sipping on it while working on things last night because I looked at the bottle. I've never had the bourbon cream, but I see people in Boco yeah. going nuts over it. Like, oh, Buffalo Trace bourbon cream. Uh. I bought this in I got South it in Carolina. A freaking, I, I got it in a drive through Yeah, I bought this in South and Carolina. And I'm not going like to say where because if ago. any of them listen, I may link the show to them. Screw them all. I, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't post care. much on the Boca shit because there's just too many people whining and bitching. I like the, I like the variety. I like seeing people's opinions. But when people whine or people ask way too much secondary, that, well, so screw, go, go the, screw yourself. The but, thing that irritates. So let's just use Blanton's as the other example, which is let's. That's the primary one. That's the primary. Th- this, this nobody's is, flipping Pappy every day. No, but Blanton's but comes Blanton's, up a lot. Ninety to a hundred dollars a bottle is what. Stupid. People are trying to flip this for not worth it. Now I'm not saying they're selling it, it on the Boco forms or, or anything else, but oh, they're selling it there. Well, I wasn't going to say that. Yeah, but. I will. I don't care. This is our podcast. Oh, I, I know, I know, and I don't care. I will link this to them if they kick us out. I don't care. Yeah, because honestly, I, I, I don't give a shit. I've I don't. gained nothing from there because most people on there, not all, the admins seem cool. A lot of the members seem cool, but some of the members, like you said, only whine or only ask way, way, way too much secondary. So, I will call people out on our podcast. Oh no, and I'm, 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 we well, we'll call them out all day. But it is if you buy a bottle of Blanton's only to flip it, and you ask a hundred bucks, it's not worth a hundred dollars. Go screw yourself. It's not that good. It's a forty dollar bottle being sold for fifty to sixty dollars, depending on where you go. Yeah, that's what it is. It's good. Don't get me wrong. I like it. I have three bottles sitting downstairs. I found and if the you would like them, they're two hundred each. You and can if you email want us one, they're, podcast at no, they're three hundred a piece because oh. they're even old, they're two year old bottles, three year old bottles. They're two thousand seventeen. You got to say vintage. That's what well, raises the price. They're two thousand seventeens. And you one should of post them, one of those. No, <laughs> and see if somebody buys it. But the well, the one bottle I'm not selling because it's a Halloween bottle it is literally a ten thirty one seventeen. It's a I Halloween bottle. Put it up for five hundred bucks. Some I know some fuckhead will buy some it. Some idiot would, but <laughs> there's a lot of dumb people on there. I like, like I the, love the group, and I like a lot of the guys that are like you know like you and I are and dude and Jimmy. Like, hey, here's what we found. What do you think? I'm cool with those. Oh, those are fine. I, but that, this whole I, whining about oh, I went to Giant Eagle at three a.m. and then I didn't get nothing. And well, I loved all the responses. The guy that posted the the Wild Turkey 101, he was like, took me three and a half hours, but I finally got a bottle. Well, Seth, <laughs> I was trying to figure that, like, I'm I'm like, I'm sitting there looking at him, like, he's got to be fucking with No, people. he was trolling, for sure. That, he, he's another me. Yeah, I was like, he's yeah, fucking he's with Yeah, he's 100% people. trolling. But one guy was on there, and he's like, I know every, damn near everybody on this form, you know, on here is made, we flipped bottles. I haven't. I, I, I'll tell you what, I have. I've done two. I haven't. One right. bottle I sold at cost, yeah, with tax to right. somebody on the on the form before the first time its first round before it got broke up. The second bottle I, I just sold for thirty dollars less than what it was valued at, and that was the wars that all the shitty dwarves. scotch. I thought you were selling that to. I did. Declared. That's an eighty dollar bottle. I sold it to him for fifty. Oh, but I don't call him a boco guy. You met him at the gym. No, but I, I'm. Oh, I, you're just talking about flipping. I'm just in talking general. about flipping in general. Yeah. I've only ever flipped two bottles because of my my policy. Right. The only reason I even sold the bottle of Bland's Your is because the dude was an a hole. Yeah, the dude was desperate. Like he was like, I have been looking for three years for, for Blanton's? for Blanton's, and I have not been able to get my hands on one because of I my work hate schedule. To think how disappointed he was when he waited for three years for this bottle and tasted it. I sold it to him, and it I'm tasted like, like ancient age ten star. I just I'm like sixty bucks. But here, here's the thing. Here good go. for you because you know you could. Because I'm not more. an asshole. It, well, not in that respect. <laughs> I mean, I'm a dick about other shit. Right, but right. In that, in that respect, the I guy, like, I will. I wasn't trying to make a buckle. I could have easily gone seventy five on that you bottle. Easily gone a hundred on it. This well, this was two years ago. Okay, fair. so I could have easily gone seventy five on this bottle and just been like, hey, great, you know, whatever. 
And he would have accepted it. I'm sure. Because he's like, you don't want more? I'm like, I'm selling it to you at cost. Yeah. Why? This is what because I, I know. It, me back. I know what it's. I know it's hard to get. So I just. But some of this other shit that goes on, I'm just. It's annoying. Shut dude. the fuck up. Like and sometimes, like, what's the, what's the the best two hundred dollar bottle in secondary you'd buy? I'm like, there isn't one. Yeah, there is. <laughs> I I put it up. Three bottles of Blades and a bottle of Bernheim wheat. <laughs> I'm like, there isn't one. I yeah. wouldn't spend two hundred dollars on secondary. These guys, I don't get it. it, it here's what it is. It's the new lifted bro truck. It's just a flex to say, I own these bourbons or whiskeys. Yeah. That's all it is. It's just people post pictures of, look what I found today. I got five bottles of this. I don't care. Yeah. And most of I don't know shit, you, and that does not affect. I'm not going to taste it. I'm not going to try it. I'm not going to buy it from you because you're asking three times what it's worth. Best part. Oh, by the way, most of that shit that you got three, four, five, six bottles of, you didn't get it here in Ohio. Like yeah, the midwinter. And you paid more than than the is, MSRP anyway. Is available here, but a lot of the stuff that people post, they're like, "Oh, well, I got this." Blah, 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 blah. And you're like, "Yep, yeah, you didn't get that in Ohio." So fuck which off. is funny to me because we don't post anything we get on there, and we're getting all kinds of crap from outside Ohio they can't get. We review it on the show. Oh, yeah. We give it ourselves. But we're not putting it out there on Facebook. Yeah, I'm not putting it out there. I mean, they can oh, listen to our show of, for it. Speaking of the uh, Virgil Kane, yes, the, the ribbon rye. Yes. Did you have you had any more of that since our show? Um, it's gone. That would be a yes then. I meant to bring the flask here so you could refill it. I forgot. <laughs> so I took, I took a small flask home and it did not last. So I, I took the bottle with me for our Friday night whiskey and wad at the gym. Nice. And did they all know half of that? What they drink was mine? Well, no, cause they drank my half. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. That's not what I expected. That was funny. Um, but I, uh, so I took that and Brandon tried some. And if you remember when we had that, it was like, yeah, it kind of tastes like it, it's, it doesn't taste like a rye. Like it doesn't have, it's not, there's not the peppery not bite. Not the peppery bite. Yeah. It, it tastes like there's too, like there was water in my glass. Yeah. We talked about how smooth it tasted. Yeah. So it's still smooth. After a week, the peppery taste came in and it wasn't, didn't have that watered down flavor. Okay. So we got out of the neck pour then. Yeah. I think so. We're gonna to have to do an official review. Well, of we're that. gonna. I think we're going to. So we're yeah. gonna save some and do. I've an got so much review. stuff at home to review that I'm trying not to drink that I love. Well, we'll, we'll but get I'm, to it. Like I'm trying to save enough for the show. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. But so anyway, um, this is actually our Christmas episode. Now that we've gone through and bitched about <laughs> for a half hour, those dickheads over there that are whining and wearing diapers and being babies. Um, <laughs> I'm so posting this too. That's fine. I don't give a shit. I don't either. I mean. Fuck! Fight me. <laughs> Let's go. I you know, I, hey, I, got I don't your post back. anything. Go. I don't post anything on there, and I could give well, a shit. I, I like. I've got nothing against the group itself. No, the it's group the itself members is that fine. whine about. Oh, I stood in line for fourteen hours, and I didn't get my Weller Special Reserve or whatever it is they're whining about. Go screw yourself. Yeah. And then the other idiots that get on there and go, I've got Blanton's two hundred and twenty five dollars. Straight fuck off. Go screw yourself. I wish. I really wish your buddy. That was in Japan was able to bring oh. back red and black Blanton's red and black. There's an asshole on there right now selling red for two fifty. And, and we, I, I would sit here with, and I would do a TikTok video with you drinking, <laughs> drinking that it shit and send it to him and send it to him. I would almost. I would do a TikTok video of a shot and just take pour it, it down the drain. Just pour it down the drain. Just to saying, be an asshole. I'm about to say the same thing. I'd put it in the toilet and it, then piss on it. That's what they don't get. It's like they're they're all whining, they're all complaining, but they're all part of the problem. It's just like. They aren't part of it. Of they are the problem. Potato, tomato. I mean, it's it is. It's been. It's ridiculous. I so I've been drinking whiskey since before before the boom started. It's been seven or eight years now that I did it, and this boom thing started about five years ago. Because Blanton was readily Spe- available. The last couple years has gotten dumb, though. It's gotten stupid. About the last two to three years has been really dumb. Right, but Blanton's was readily available. Like I could walk into a store and buy it. Yeah. It still wasn't on the shelf, but I could walk in and be like, hey, can I get uh, two bottles of Blanton's? Sure, no problem. I walked Here in a year, year and a half ago and saw it on a shelf out in the open Yeah, and bought it. Yeah. That was the first time I had it. It was like a year well, depending and a half the, ago. Depending on the store, they'll put it out on the shelf. Like the, I know one of the stores down our way, the, well, there's only two stores. The Giant Eagle keeps it in the back, and you have to ask for it. Pit Stop puts it out. But good luck ever seeing it yeah. with all the people showing up at bunch of taters, fucking 
literally five o'clock in the morning and they don't open till nine. You need to find something better to do with your time. Anyway, uh, th- so this is our Christmas episode. Um, <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry fucking Christmas to you guys. Um, so what, what, we actually planned something. Um, <laughs> we're going to talk about the 30 best Christmas movies. I'm here for it. Don't suck. <laughs> <laughs> right off the bat. <coughs> um, Excuse me. Sorry. The first one is is uh, Die Hard, and we both have feelings about this. Um, your feeling is, and we've gone over this, it's not a Christmas movie. That's because it's not. My feeling is it's a movie that happened at Christmas. Bingo. So not a Christmas movie. Here's Here's my thoughts on it. And I thought we were. And gonna, Bruce Willis has already said this is not a Christmas movie. He has, which is not only Bruce Willis, but the people who literally made the freaking movie said that it's not a Christmas movie. And if you Google search it, it says it's an action movie. Yeah. On IMDb, it says action movie. Yeah. It's an action movie set at Christmas time. Period. Yeah. Period. Yeah. No, I, I will agree discussion. with that. I know. I'm. But I will also call it a Christmas movie because it is a movie that I typically only watch around Christmas. It's a Christmas time movie. But here's the thing: it took place so at how, Christmas. Okay, if you only watch it around Christmas, how good is it? As an action um, movie, it doesn't stand alone. If it's not, it's not that great of an action movie. You don't watch it in July. Well, I don't watch a whole lot of TV anyway, or movies through the summer and through the warmer months because I'm usually outside. Right. Um, and because I'm an indoor kid in the wintertime, and I get fat drinking eggnog and whiskey, that's usually when I watch TV and play video games. Um, so, no, I'm not going to watch it in July, because I'm going to be outside. Do you know when it was released? No. July. Okay. Christmas it's, in July. <laughs> here's the thing. This movie, everyone's like, it's a Christmas movie. Why? They were at a Christmas party. So what, you spud? They could have been a 4th of July party and the same thing happened. Yeah. They, I would, could, have been, I, they could have been a St. Paddy's Day party and the same thing happened. I think on December 4th, they're going to start throwing a 4th of July party in December. Awesome. Fireworks and all. Yeah. Sit outside. <laughs> even if it's snowing. <laughs> outside in shorts and a tank Letting top. Fireworks. An Old Navy 4th of July t-shirt. People do Christmas in July on the 25th. I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm here for it. Chris, Christmas Let's do it. or uh, Independence Day in December. There you go. I'm here for it. All right. So number two... And this is one that Liz and I watch every year. Love Actually. Never seen it. It is surprisingly good. I, I've not heard anything bad about it. I've just yeah. never seen. I it. mean, it, I'm just. Well, I'm, no, I'm just saying it's it's surprisingly good. Um, the the guy that played the sheriff in Walking Dead is one of the main characters. Um, uh, the Rick Grimes guy. Yeah, uh, Leslie Nielsen's in it. Emma Thompson's in it. Hugh Grant's in it. Emma Thompson. Yeah. Hey now. Yeah. So. It's a, it's it's actually a really love actually is actually a really good movie. <laughs> you actually love uh, I love actually, actually. Love, love actually love actually. So Liz and I watch that every year, and we just kind of stumbled upon it in two thousand three when it came out, and it's a British movie, but it was released in the U.S. So it's pretty good. Okay. Um, Home Alone. Now here's the thing: when I start debating Die Hard. Most people, eventually, either they do it right away or eventually come around to thinking, wait a second, is Home Alone a Christmas movie then? Home Alone is a Christmas movie. Because they say, if Die Hard's not, why is Home Alone? Now, my old argument originally was, well, Home Alone's a Christmas movie because they left Kevin home at Christmas as they left town. Mm -hmm. But, to be fair, they could have been leaving town for 4th of July. Or St. Patty's Day. They could have been. Or Arbor Day. But. Everybody flies to France for Arbor Day. They did. Okay. I should do that. But this is specifically a Christmas movie. Released for Christmas to watch at Christmas of a kid who was left home during Christmas. It is. No. And all of the stuff, a majority of the stuff that he uses, like freezing water, tree ornaments. Right, it's all winter. It's all based. Christmas based booby traps. Well, not all of them. A good portion of them, though. Yeah, not so. all of them, but a lot. So when you Google Home Alone, it comes up as a comedy slash family movie. Right. I don't think it. I don't think there is a genre for Christmas movie. Oh no, there is. 
and I'm sure we'll come up on. I'm not, I'm not going to say because you could are. you could say the same thing about the Grinch. Is the Grinch who stole the Fourth of July? <laughs> he just runs around, steals everybody's fireworks, yeah, and brawlers, yeah, <laughs> steals their grills, puts them on top of the hills, asks for some I bills. Got grills. Anyway, I've got grills. It's a wonderful life on top of my heels. This is it. Top of my heels. This one just takes place at Christmas too. Never seen it. I, I've, I've had watched it like two or three times. People get so mad at me about the movies I haven't I, seen. I don't. And now it's funny to me. I still haven't seen Die Hard. And last year I made a post specifically saying it's my 36th Christmas on this earth. And I still haven't seen Die Hard. And dude. Oh, I'm sure dude was one of the guys that was. He may have been. <laughs> but <laughs> but the, the comments that rolled in. I can't wait to do it this year. I might do oh, it this week. Do it this week. I mean, it is Christmas week. Oh, people get so mad about that. They I'm do. like, eh. and a, it's a wonderful life. Is I mean, I know it, it's a classic. I've it's never a classic. Seen it. it all it does is really is remind me of um, Scrooge. Like he has an oh, awakening, okay. and I just like it, it, it. It's one of those change of heart things. Yeah, like oh, it's Christmas time, so I'm going to be a better person. Yeah, one of my favorites. My absolute favorite, and Beth hates this movie. So does Lex. So does Liz. Uh, okay, I think, you know I think what? Lexi hates it too. Me and Beth are going to come over, and you and I are going to watch this, and they oh, can go screw off and do whatever they I do. I used to watch the 24 hour Christmas yes. story. I I'd would leave it on sit, stream and just go. I would sit and watch. Well, it wasn't every, called streaming back then. <laughs> right. I, I would sit and watch every single. One. I just, yeah, I just leave it on. From the time I no got matter up what. to the time I went to bed. No, I just sat yeah. in front of the TV and It'd watched it. It'd be fine. It. I could, if I got to get up and pee, get up and pee, come back. Yep, still know this part. But you know, this could not be a Christmas movie, too. A Christmas story has to be. It a could Christmas be. Movie. It could be a birthday story. He could have been yeah, asking well, for a red, white, or BB gun in the middle of July. He could have, on his but birthday. then you're right. In that case, it would have been. And he could have sat on Uncle Sam's lap and asked Uncle Sam for the BB gun. <laughs> okay, first off, if you've ever <laughs> sat on Uncle <laughs> Sam's lap to get what you wanted, hey. Chris Hansen wants to talk to your uncle. <laughs> It's not. It's America's Uncle Sam. Oh yeah, is that what he told you? <laughs> hey, uh, I'm America's Uncle Sam. Come sit on my lap, little boy. What the hell is that <laughs> in your pocket? Uh, it's a it's candy a knife. cane. Um, yeah, a, a Christmas story is the it is epitome of of Christmas movie. Like yes. it's the pinnacle. And Beth hates, as far as I'm concerned, yes. Beth hates the part where she tries to get Randy, the, not me, the little boy, to eat. Yeah, and she says eat like a pig, and he just like he starts <laughs> goes ham on it, snorting, and that grosses her out so much she won't watch this at all. She doesn't. She didn't like this movie, not one bit of it. Well, good. My brother in law Matt, I would hate for her to become a pink nightmare. Has, <laughs> has the leg lamp? We bought him a leg oh, my, lamp. My neighbor has night light. A miniature. Like he has. One. He has a. But he has tons of ornaments. Everything. I love it. Love it. Um. Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. I, this one, it's it, I this saw one it is years ago. This one is. I would say this one is absolutely a Christmas movie. Like the whole premise is Santa Claus. Is he real or not? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, just him being real. Like the it's. But yeah, that one's. A, I would say that one's a Christmas movie. Yeah. I want to see something. I'm the looking classic up game the remake. I'm looking this up. I want to see. See, right here. It's a Christmas movie, but it's a comedy, drama, and family. Yep, it is. I don't think there is a Christmas genre. There is. I forget which one I saw because I was having a, a – not a debate, a discussion on Facebook. Here, I'm going to try something. I think it was Elf maybe. I didn't even – even when I changed drama to Christmas. Genre. For the genres. There is no Christmas Nothing genre. Nothing on IMDb. Uh-oh. Bum, 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 bum. I don't think that – you, so you said Elf. Let's look up Elf. I'm sure Elf is on this list. Elf 2003. Well, wait till we get to it then. No, a- adventure comedy family on IMDb. Yeah, on IMDb. I think well, IMDb Google is it. the. I would say IMDb is the. De as far facto as movies go, it's yeah. Movie. You know. Oh, hey, look, Elf is next. I'll be damned. <laughs> <laughs> wait till we get Segway. to Segway. There we go. Hey, Elf. Elf is absolutely a Christmas movie. We know what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. I love Elf. I like Will Ferrell. I think Will Ferrell's hilarious. And I think John Favreau is an amazing director. <laughs> I saw a Star Space Battles meme talking about John Favreau making 
Like he created the Spider Verse. He created all these things. Yeah, created a Christmas movie. Mm-hmm. It, it was like some about you can't make a Christmas movie that's like better and blah blah blah. And it was like John Favreau. And it was like you can't make a action hero movie. Blah blah blah. And it was John Favreau. And it was like, well, we can't do Star Wars and uh. As good as the original trilogy to keep the old members and appeal to the new, and then he does the Mandalorian, you know. And the Mandalorian like, is actually a really good show. I've even, heard it's even great. Even if you're not into Star Wars, no, that's what I've heard. I haven't watched it, but I've heard it's like it's fantastic. It stands out, out on its own. It does. And Favreau, I always looked at like, oh yeah, he's kind of okay. But then when you really look at him, go, he's done some really good things. Like Elf is one of my all time favorite Christmas movies, and it's not old. No, it's, it's two thousand three. Like, well, okay, it's old now. <laughs> but by your and I standards, it's not old and it's not classic like Miracle on 34th Street or something like that. It's not Claymation Rudolph. But it's one of those movies I want to watch every year at Christmas time. Which – and yeah. So I need to – I actually need to buy this. I need to buy a Christmas story. I had the Christmas story on DVD. I, now I don't own a DVD player other than my PS5. And I'm not going to sit up here and watch Christmas story. I'm going to torment everybody one. else. No, I'll just buy the digital version. That way I have it everywhere I go. There you go. And I can play it any time we're driving anywhere just to piss just people cause. off. Yeah, just because. So Elf's one of those movies I need to buy. Christmas Story, Christmas Vacation. Those are those are ones I need to purchase. They're staples. They are. They are. They help get me in the mood. So um, we're back to Eggnog and Screwball. It's nice. It is very good. I, like, I, I really dig the Screwball and Eggnog. I'm glad I came up with that last year. I, I'm all for it, man. Yeah, I, it is. Um, Little Women, never seen it. I know Renata Never Wires seen it, it, never read it. Beth has both read it and seen it. I didn't even know it. Why is this a Christmas movie? I, I can't comment on why it is or isn't. All I know is that Joe dies, and I only know that because of Friends. I don't even know who Joe is. I don't either. I know there's an episode of Friends where Joey puts, what book was it? It was a Stephen King book. I don't know. In the freezer when he gets scared. Him and Rachel make an agreement that if Joey reads... Little Women, she'll read whatever Stephen King crap, but Joe dies. That's all I, that's all I know. Okay. Um, the Nightmare Before Christmas. This one, I didn't see. It, was, it came out in 93. I didn't see it until five, six years ago. Okay. Surprisingly good. Yeah. I really liked it. And then last night. It's a crazy Tim Burton movie. Yeah, or yesterday. Um, Huck asked Beth if he could watch it again. I didn't know he'd really? even seen it because I was like, eh, it might scare him, you know. But which I don't care. I'm like, well, we'll see if it scares you or not. <laughs> you know, we'll find out. I'm not going to sh- like shelter him and and be one of those helicopter parents. I'm like, yeah, you want to watch it? Yeah, let's watch it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he likes it. So yeah, I like it. it. It's it's this is another one we watch. The girls will like, hey, let's we're gonna watch Nightmare Before Christmas. They'll watch it year round. Yeah, like they just I, I could do that. They just pull it up year round. I mean, I don't watch it all the time. But I could. I, I could watch it any given time is what I'm saying. I don't watch any You ever movie seen Coraline? Time. Yeah. It's that creepy movie, as fuck. Dude, we saw it on a whim on Netflix, and we watched it. It was like me, Beth, the boys, Kevin, Mom, Dad. And I was like, what's this? And we hit it. That's We were enthralled, though. That movie like, is you get roped the stuff into of it. nightmares. Oh, absolutely. It is a nightmare. Literally, like, but you get roped into it. Not Christmas, but anyway. Anyway, so skipping over the what was that? Oh. No, not skipping over. Uh, next one is Bad Santa. Have you I seen this one? I have not seen this. I've seen like clips of it. It's it is I've a movie that it. takes place at Christmas with Billy Bob Thornton. It's a comedy. It's a comedy. Yeah, it's good though. Like it is. If you want to watch something that is just kind of obscene, yeah, and raunchy Christmas, dirty humor, dirty dirty humor. Yeah, this is the one to watch. I've heard it's good, and the clip like I've seen clips. I know enough from like memes and whatnot yeah to kind of know what it is but yeah. i haven't seen it and so uh the next movie we have is trading places eddie murphy Never dan Aykroyd. It. it is good like well, it's not like, like, it, it takes place at christmas so it's it's a comedy it, well they're all comedies at this point john landis is the director of this and it, See, it this, came out in the 80s i think probably like in the late 80s this says Trading Places is another Christmas movie that isn't totally about Christmas. Yeah. So, I mean, that kind of tells you where this list is. It, ta- it takes. It's one of those ones that you enjoy yeah. typically around Christmas time. But Absolutely. I have not seen it. But I, I love John Candy and I love Eddie Murphy. John Candy's not in this. Dan Aykroyd. 
Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I like John Candy, too. Yeah, I mean, Dan big, big white guys. I was actually thinking of John Candy movies because there's a meme I saw <laughs> when I was at a stop sign down here waiting. Oh, Lord. On the way in. So that's my bad. <laughs> John Candy is not in that. But check out Cool Frontings. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> or Uncle Buck. Or un- Uncle Buck's a good one. That's a good one. All right. Uh, the Santa Claus with Tim Allen. That... 100% Christmas. It's the, literally about him becoming Santa yeah, Claus. Yeah. That cannot happen at Fourth Well, it could. No, because Santa, why would Santa be down there at Fourth of July? Oh, he's on, he's on vacation. Happen. He's on vacation. <laughs> it's just like Forrest Gump's dad. <laughs> Santa's Forrest Gump's dad. Holy shit. We just unlocked a mystery. Oh. oh. Uh. No, Illuminati's going to come after us now. <laughs> FBI's about to email you. Watch Jesus. out. Santa Claus, 100% a Christmas the movie. The first one. The se- the second two, not so good. I still like them. I like them. I, the second one good. was better than the third, I think. Well, yeah. As a trilogy. The third one sucks. As a trilogy, it does not hold up to Back to the Future. No. But the Santa Claus, the original, 100% Christmas, Christmas movie, couldn't happen any other time of year. I love everything about it. Yeah, it's good. I like it. Um... I'll we're, watch it I think year. we're going to have to start skipping some because this is 30 movies and we're on 12. I will make getting it two parter. Screw it. Getting ready to go 13. Yeah. I'm not doing Happy New Year's. Parter. Happy New Year's. Gremlins. Happy birthday. Gremlins is not a Christmas movie. Scroll on. You're right. Horror comedy. Yeah. Great movie, but not Christmas movie. It takes place at Christmas, though. You're right. It does he take place. He gets a gift. Though. He could get that for his birthday in March. He could have. But. Scroll on. Mogwais. I need a Mogwai. I want a little gizmo. You don't need gizmo. No, you don't need gizmo. I'd feed that fucker after midnight. No, and- I was going to say the first freaking <laughs> minute you'd have it, you'd try to figure out to transform it. Yeah. No. Yeah. Scroll on. Next. Eyes wide shut. Never seen it. Scroll on. Wow. Tom Cruise is in, and he just cussed out all his employees. Well, he had every right to cuss out all his employees. I didn't even get into it. I only I only saw what happened because there were two guys that were breaking the six foot protocol that shouldn't have been near each other. And that's why he flipped out. That's why he lost his shit. Okay, well then he should just stay home if he's that worried but about it. But th- the best part is is these are two guys. Whoever these two guys are, the entire production crew is living on a cruise liner right now that Tom is leasing out to make sure that no one gets COVID. So what the fuck does it matter? Yeah, I don't like him. It's fine. He's just he's got little man syndrome. He, he <laughs> he's about the size of my thigh. Not that he cares. And he's but... the spokesperson for Scientology. Help me, Tom Cruise. <laughs> Help me, Oprah. <laughs> uh, a Christmas Tale. I have never, never seen heard it. of this. It's never a French it. comedy drama. Oh, scroll on. Parlez-vous, Francois? We're scrolling on. We don't care about you. The ref. Never heard of it. It is good. It says, unfortunately, The Ref is not a sports Christmas movie. It is not a Christmas movie whatsoever. Then what is this list? It takes place at Christmas. Ah, I told you, on. this This is these are things take. Dennis Leary's in this. I mean, okay. I'm, I'm cool with Dennis Leary. He and, and Kevin Spacey. And Kevin. <laughs> I don't know. Some things don't age well, do well, they? <laughs> they don't, but this movie is good. And some things don't age at all, and that's what Kevin Spacey likes. <laughs> hey. Wow. The Do you need some there. more drink? You the need joke, some more alcohol. Let's go. The joke was there. I had to make it. <laughs> the Best Man Holiday. Never seen it. Never. And, uh, never heard of it. Never heard of it. I think they're dancers. I have no clue what this is. I don't know. A Muppet Christmas Carol. Classic. Yep. Classic. I actually I haven't seen this in a while. I should watch it. I, I was just I, same it's thing. It's been a long time. I haven't seen it in a while. Uh the apartment. No clue. That that's black and white. It's, that's old. It's a sixties movie. Yeah, this is old with Fred McMurray. I might have to watch that one, see what it's like. Christmas vacation. Classic. There are some people that hate this movie. Don't care. I know. Don't care. I, I don't care either. Any of the National Lampoons? Not any of them. Some of them suck. The, okay, you're right. The not because they're not all Chris, che- so not all Chevy Chase. Like there's National Lampoon movies that aren't Chevy Chase movies. Oh, okay. Well, okay. I'm talking the the Chevy Checkers, the vacation movies. Um, yeah. Th- well, specific. Oh, sorry, folks. We're closed. Moose out front should have told you. Like any of the vacation. That's John Candy. It is. I know. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it, but you like how I pulled that back? Uh, there you go. 
Um, the but National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation is nonstop. Like every scene is just full of one liners. Yeah. If you don't there's bust a, the gut laughing, there's something you can quote in everyone that's always funny. I found a video of a lawyer breaking down the movie, and every single law that Chevy Chase's character breaks yeah. totals to about 15 years in prison and a $75,000 <laughs> fine. That's pretty funny. For the time. That's pretty funny. And it starts off with the the uh the ice sheet coming off the gutter through the window and breaking the the CD player. Yeah, I got to watch that again. Yeah. I didn't watch it last year, I don't think. We I, mean, I we did cuz we were at Liz's dad's and it, it's on it's a classic. It's on loop. Scrooged with Bill Murray. Classic. Bill Murray is a national treasure. Yeah, he is. He him and Betty White need preserved. <laughs> they should we gotta be... figure out how to keep them alive oh, forever. Yeah. We we gotta we gotta keep them. We in need the to take Walt Disney's, Walt Disney's head, remove it from the cryogenic freeze box that and just put in, these two in it. Just put these two <laughs> in it. Just chuck them in there. Yeah, Bill Murray's uh, Scrooge Scrooge is another classic. It's a good love one. it. Great great Christmas movie. Uh, Jim or yeah, Jim Carrey's a Christmas Carol. Never seen it. I didn't see this one. I don't think. I have not. Um, Charlie Brown Christmas, one of the best, hands down, one of the best. Yeah, I'm, it's twenty two minutes, man. It is, I know. Well, twenty five. They say it is. Honestly, it, it is. It embodies everything that is Christmas, and it speaks out against commercialism, which I love. Well, yeah. Uh, Black Christmas. She haven't seen it. Looks like she's covered. That looks like it's a horror yeah. movie. Oh, it's a horror movie. Yeah. Okay. No, I don't know anything about that. I don't. Why do people watch horror? Mo- okay, uh, I know uh, well, some people that would. I, I almost watched one this morning. But a Christmas based one or yeah. just a horror? Was it? Yeah. What was it? Um, I'll have to look it up. It's Saul? like no, no, no. no. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> I'll have to look it up. It is. It was about like three escaped cons. Wiseman. It's called Good Tidings. Oh, I haven't heard of that one either. A homeless war veteran is with a checkered past must rely on, on a side of himself he once thought was buried when his companions are targeted on Christmas Day by three vicious psychopaths in Santa Claus suits. I haven't heard of that one. I hadn't either. I'm going to laugh if it's on this list, though. Uh, I doubt it. What's that uh, kiss, 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 bang, bang. You got Robert Downey Jr., That's that's Val Kilmer. That's when he was druggy Robert Downey Jr. Too. Yeah, that's before Iron Man and cleaning up his shit. Um, Never heard of it. I I don't know if I had or not. Uh, the Grinch, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the Jim Carrey version. Love it. Good. Like it. I think he did a great job in that. Watched the Grinch musical the other day. Not a fan. Never seen it. But the perspective on which the play was done, on it was, it was just released on NBC the other night. The perspective was from Max the Dog. Okay. So I like that idea. Yeah. It just doesn't Poor translate. Execution. It doesn't translate to a musical. Yeah, like they. It'd be they, hard to get a musical out of a dog's perspective. Well, it was they. They made like the, like the the grandfather of like Cindy Lou Who, like this grumpy ass like self centered prick. Yeah, and it was like none none of that ever happened in the story. So it was kind of I just wasn't the I like the idea. And the premise from Max's side, but not the the execution was poor. Uh, Edward Scissorhands is not even close to a Christmas movie. See, it doesn't I, even take place. There are Christmas, yeah. There, there. The climax of the film takes place at a Christmas party. It talks about this. To me, is another Die Hard. Yeah. I'm with you. I remember seeing it growing up. Never once have I thought about this as like, oh, it's Christmas time. I want to feel lovey dovey. Let's watch Edward Scissorhands. Yeah, no. There is there are Christmas scenes, but yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, Christmas scenes, but yeah. Uh, the Holiday. Never seen it. Never seen it. Um, it's a, it's another Chris, Christmas movie. I'm putting it in quotes. They aren't. Where a key, key scene just happens to take place over Christmas. That doesn't make it a Christmas movie, people. If, if, if Not it even needs close. To be, like to me, the quintessential Christmas movie is something like Elf. Because in Elf, not only does Buddy leave the North Pole, but the next year at Christmas time... If he and his father, who has yet to fully Baja. accept who he is and how he was raised, if they don't help Santa get his sleigh off the ground in Central Park, they're all screwed and Christmas is ruined. They're all going to die. That mean, that is a Christmas movie. It literally like affects the holiday. They're all going to die. <laughs> well, our next movie is Jingle All the Way. 
with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I would say that's a comedy also based around Christmas. It's very heavily based around Christmas. So heavily, in fact, that he is trying to get a Christmas gift during Christmas on yeah. during Christmas shopping for his son for Christmas. Right. I would say that is kind of quintessential Christmas movie. But why couldn't that be for a birthday? Because they go through the Christmas parade. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, <laughs> there's no such thing as a birthday parade. There's no birthday parades. Fourth of July parade. And that doesn't work that way. Fair enough. What's next? Uh, let's see. I think this is the last one. Polar Express. 100% Christmas. Christmas movie. I mean, it's about the kid going to the North Pole at Christmas time. Right. Tom Hanks in that was phenomenal, and all he did was talk. Yeah, he just played <laughs> but they made every his, single they, character. They made his character look like him, like the main train whatever guy. Not conductor, but well, the conductor looked like him. The hobo looked like him. They all, well, yeah, they all kind of did. But the main ticket puncher guy, um, that would be conductor. No ticket puncher. The conductor doesn't do the ticket punching. The engineer's the one who drives the train. So, well, okay, I don't know all <laughs> what I'm talking about. <laughs> the conductor's a, the one who's I'm like, not a train driver. He's like, hey, let's go. Whatever. Anyway, I like that movie. It was good. Um, especially when it came out, the animation was... It was top-notch for the time. It was like one of the times where you saw like individual hairs on the character's head. Yeah. Like, it was pretty intense. Yeah, it was It was good. So, yeah, I give, I give that one a 10. A 10. 10. So, I have another movie. It's not on this list. You're not going to find it. You're going to have to dig for it to find it. But I can tell you exactly where to find it, and that's on Amazon Prime. It's called Rare Exports. Okay. All right. Never heard of it. It is... Essentially, a Christmas movie. It is about um, three. F- it takes place in Finland. It's about rare escorts. Sounds like it takes place exports. In- exports. Okay. Yeah. Not escorts. I can't. I can't hear good. I guess you uncall those ears. Exports. Rear. Rear exports. Rear- <laughs> <laughs> I got rear exports. Rare exports. <laughs> um, so there's another side to Christmas that a lot of people don't know, and that's Krumpus. Oh, yeah. Which is an Australian. It is the Austra- – well, I say Australian, but it's – If you're a fan of a, The Office, you know. It's a, it's a European Santa Claus, essentially, demon that kidnaps uh, children and eats so them and not beats them. Santa Claus. He's kind of the anti-Santa Claus. He's the like anti-Santa Claus. It's like if you're bad, you don't get coal. You get your, you get your ass beat. You get, you get beat boiled you get in the hot in oil. And... Um, but so what this what rare exports is about? It's it's three Finnish guys and their kids. Two when of them did they kids. start? Hmm? When did they start? What do you mean? Well, they're Finnish guys. They Not finished start. guys. Oh, okay. Finnish. Finnish. They're Finns. They're Finns. They're from Finland. It takes place in Finland. Um. They discover they're reindeer herders. So basically they herd reindeer. Okay. And butcher them for meat for to I, sell. I like deer meat. Okay. So they that's what they do. While the there's a mountain in the background, it gets it's being drilled upon and they find out that it's a grave for Krumpus. Uh oh. And he gets released? Close. Uh and he has elves that kidnap the children who are they? They're wrinkly old white guys that have huge long white beards. I mean, the the essential. You got huge long white what? Beards. Oh, beards. Okay. So I would highly recommend checking this one out if you're into that type of thing. I like Krumpus. I am a Krumpus fan. I am still trying to find a wooden Krumpus carved mask. I'll give you a wooden Krumpus. No, you won't. <laughs> you don't have one. You're right. Mine is. Flaccid. You yeah. have a flaccid Krumpus. You don't have a Krumpus mask. So, but if you remember the, the mask that we found. But I got a Festivus pole. Ew. We'll see. Is it like Mr. Hanky the Christmas poo? Mm, no. 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 Don't want to say it. Mm. But if it was like Mr. Hanky the Christmas poo, you would? If it was a talking pile of shit, then yeah. <laughs> That'd be pretty entertaining. <laughs> we'll give it a mic. Yeah, I mean. Hey, we found our, our third our third host of the show. You're in. You're, you're, you're talking poop. If you're Mr. Hanky, email us at buckhornpodcast at Good gmail.com. God. All right. I will say I think we're done. How much more <sighs> of that eggnog you got? 
Uh, I can finish this real quick. You don't have to. Um, yeah. So if so, what we uh, what we ended up finished. Oh, it. Okay. What we ended up drinking today was we brought back the eggnog and screwball, which fantastic out of this world. I, it doesn't yeah, matter how much you mix of each. I mean, I wouldn't take a glass of screwball and put a drop of eggnog in, but well, you can do point, one to one or one to two, two to one. I'll say at that point, just drink one to three the screwball. Yeah, um, no matter <laughs> half and how, half. no matter how you mix it, it's fantastic. Yeah, it's really good. Um, we also did the uh, Buffalo Trace bourbon cream, which you can now find in Ohio at damn near any store yeah. in their little liqueur aisles. Um. We did some of that with a shot of Buffalo Trace whiskey. Good luck finding that, although there was a case that pit stop Friday. Spoiler alert. That's it. We're done? I think so. Let's just have a few more drinks and a, a jolly good time. We can do that downstairs. Fine. We're at your house. I don't care. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you got to drive home. Yeah. <laughs> We're out of eggnog, too. I didn't say it had to be eggnog. Oh, I know. Sometimes I like mixing uh, whiskey with my air. Yeah. It burns the lungs. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It really hurts. When you inhale. inhale whiskey, it burns. Do not snort the whiskeys. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Happy birthday, by the way. Thank you. I'm sorry, Jesus. Oh, okay. I guess my birthday's in June. <laughs> sweet baby Jesus. I think sweet, <laughs> sweet baby Jesus. Dear Lord, baby Jesus. Anyway. Laying there in the manger. That's the show. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's the Google Tweetstagram. There was something else I was going to say. Completely got Find me on part. TikTok. <laughs> yeah, look up Randy on TikTok. Oh, it's nice. Get, get him to 10,000 followers. Uh, I'm Martel. He's, Ran- he's Randy. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I'm stumbling and stumbling. Temperature ever. I don't think that. We're out. Merry Christmas. Ding, 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 ding. Mm.